Alright, how much a guy gotta make to be a two? Two mil. Huh? Two mil. Two mil? A month. A month? A month. And, and what you bring to the table? The coochie. And I cook sometimes. You know what? She don't know no better. She don't know no better. She probably took the short bus to school. That's all that is right there. How much does a wedding ring have to cost? Baby, it could be $50. It really doesn't matter. I just want to be in love. I want to be genuine. I want a happy, healthy marriage. So the ring, I mean, but the cost of the ring, it really doesn't mean anything because it's not like I'm going to go sell it. But the ring is just a symbol of my commitment to my man. So however much he can really afford, whatever he feels like he wants to give me, I think that's better than... Listen, these hoes have three kids with no marriage, so I'd rather the ring and my man than the cost of it. That don't matter to me. So, like, he can give you a ring pop and you would... Baby, take me to the courthouse with that ring pop. Thank you. Hello? Man, if one of y'all boys ain't putting a ring on that, if that's your girlfriend, my boy, and you ain't put a ring on that yet, you're f***ing up. You are f***ing up. You know, I didn't realize how important the cost of a wedding ring was until I started seeing these type of videos popping up on the internet. Now, what I'm going to tell you is propaganda is a mother. Because I don't feel as though, or maybe I'm just being ignorant, but I don't feel as though women were really out here caring about the cost of a ring. Probably some. Do you feel like gay men mock black women? Like, do you feel like, I feel like women, women mock? I feel women mock the gays. I don't know. I'm like so Down. Cool black Where y'all think we get the influence from? <laughs> so, I don't know. Ourselves. We are the culture, period. They definitely are. So your drip didn't come from like no woman influences? Absolutely not. Your drip didn't come from no woman influences? The boots, baby? Do you feel... I just needed to get that out of my system before I, <clears throat> I said something out of pocket. Whew! I can't believe that these grown men are going to come out and say that they influence women. I'm not going to lie, bro. <clears throat> Fellas. Fellas, I want you to think about this. I'm not making excuses for the ladies. But we are going too far. I want you to think about it. A bunch of grown men in government, they're telling women that they have no choice. Okay, and I'm, I'm talking about the abortion laws. That's one. Two, we have situations like Caitlyn Jenner winning the Woman of the Year Award. You get, you get where I'm going with this. Now, I'm not saying that some of these bitches don't be doing foul shit. But what I'm saying is, we are going too far. I can't believe a gay man who has obvious sugar in his tank is sitting there on a talk show not giving women their credit for the influence that they have on the gay community. POV. My stepdad wanted to play my boyfriend one-on-one. -on -one. Quit playing with him, babe. Get him, babe. Quit playing with him, babe. Keep playing with him, babe. Quit playing with him, babe. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. <laughs> Oh no! Hell, hey, bro. I play my daughter's boyfriend one on one, and he do that to me. Their relationship is over with. It's a wrap. First drill. Phone snatch your reaction time. I'm a whistle. Take that phone back. Take that phone back. Take that phone back. Now let her take your phone. phone. If there was a trainer for cheating on your girlfriend. <laughs> Next drill. Next drill. All right, this drill, we got defending cheating allegations on the whistle. 
These two do they funny as hell, bro. Oh my god. Tell him. Hey, pal. Tell him. 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 Tell you know what I'm saying? It's a young boy taking that that preparation age down. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I, I need to light this one up. I don't have any evil thoughts, boy. You better not jump again. Oh my God. He hurting. Just, just don't. Oh my God. He done. This bring back bad memories. This bring back bad memories. I remember my cat. She jumped out the window in our building in the city. That's probably what she was trying to do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what she was trying to do, and, and, and she just couldn't hold on. I worked at a mental hospital for two years, and while I was there, there were these two patients that were inseparable. Their names were Mary and Tom. While they were walking by the hospital swimming pool one day, Tom decided that he was going to jump into the deep end and sink to the bottom. Now, Mary jumped in to save him, and she swam all the way to the bottom and picked him up. Now, when the medical director found out about this, he ordered for Mary to be discharged from the hospital immediately. At that time, he considered her mentally stable because of her heroic act. Now, they sent me to tell Mary the news, so I went into her room and I was like, Mary, I got good news and bad news for you. Says the good news is you're being discharged because you were able to save another patient's life. Then I said, I hate to tell you this, but the bad news is Tom decided to hang himself in the bathroom with his bathrobe. I looked at her and I'm like, I I'm so sorry, but he's dead. And that's when she looked at me in my eyes and says, he didn't hang himself. I put him up there to dry. I worked at a mental... I knew some bullshit was coming. <laughs> I knew some BS was It's not funny, but it is funny. It's not funny, but... Oh, my God. He didn't hang himself. I put him up there to dry. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Oh my god. Yo. Oh my bro. I don't think y'all understand how much this how good this man can drive. Oh woman, oh woman. Cause all we seen his hands right now. Oh my god. I be trying to do stuff like this in my car. Oh my god, bro. I bro. I be trying to let me tell y'all something. See y'all know I got that that challenger. I've only really went crazy in that car one time. 
Now, mind you, it's not a scat pack. It's, it's an RT. If you know about cars, you know RTs carry about 385, 390 in horsepower. And then their, their uh, scat packs, they go like four something, like 480 or whatever. And then you have the the SRTs, it's like 700. Then you got the Demons, which is like 1,000. God, I'm sorry. Ladies, bear with me. I know y'all don't give a damn, but bear with me. So, the other day, now mind you, hold on. I had a V6 before, okay? And the V6 day ain't shit. V6 is like 305 horsepower, but really, they probably pushing like 280, to be honest. Because the car is heavy and the engine is too small to push the car. So, since I've had this particular car with way more horsepower, I've only really turned up in that car one time and it scared... No, I'm lying. I turned up twice. I turned up twice. And it scared the shit out of me. But I feel as though I'm going to get used to it and then I'm going to want to go to a scat pack. But at the same time, I feel as... You know what I'm saying? I like this car. I'm going to chill. The next car I get... It'll probably be like a, a Audi or a BMW or something like that. Or a Mercedes. I was looking at a Mercedes truck. I say all that to say, this motherfucker can drive. <laughs> that, th this motherfucker can drive. Mm. 